okay um, I had someone contact me and uh, ask me how would you if you're running Apache web server with WAMP server which WAMP server is Windows Apache web server MySQL PHP how would you password protect your um, your web server so it's right now I'm running WAMP server and you can see I put it online anybody that's on my network could with my IP address open up a web browser and get my web page so how would you password protect your web page let's say you didn't want people to see it necessarily but you you wanted them to see it if they had a username and password right so if they knew the code the password they could see your website so someone contacted me and asked me how we do that and I did some web research and I found a bunch of websites on how to do it and this is what I found um, one way that you can do it and this is I've just installed WAMP server recently so this is assuming that you've already installed WAMP server 2.0 um, remember this video is in a series of videos at youtube.com forward slash dance courses my channel is dance courses and this is in a series of videos on how to use Joomla which is a, a database uh, driven websites created with the um, Joomla um, project basically and um, so well this is how you do it this is how you'd password protect Apache first of all you need a dot ht access file um, in the folder that you want to protect so my home folder in WAMP server 2.0 is where my all my web pages are is the www directory so click there and it takes me to my www directory now I've taken the default install in Windows and installed it to the C drive in a folder called WAMP in, now I'm in another folder www so right here you need a um, notepad file right so you just right click in here and say new and notepad right new text document right or um, just open up notepad but here's the thing with notepad and I'm off screen here so you can't quite see everything there we go in notepad if you try to save a file file save as as dot ht access you might get an error or it might not let you or what it'll do is it'll add on the extension dot txt so windows doesn't normally have files named dot ht access right but you can see here that it can be done i've done it right here it says dot ht access all you got to do is when you're done saving your file say file um, save as you just put it in quotation marks so in quotation marks type in dot ht access and then the type save as type will be a text file but now it'll have the um, the name of the file will be dot ht access and it won't be dot ht access dot txt okay so anyway instead of retyping this out line by line which I don't even remember exactly I'm gonna open up my file and show you what you're gonna write okay and here it is so all you've got to do and this is just in a notepad I've made the font a little bit bigger to help you first line is going to be uh, auth capital A UTH capital U user file capital F okay and then a space and then I've put C colon um, backslash WAMP backslash dot HT pass WD now this is um, the password file that we're going to create which will have the password to get into the site now it doesn't it's not there by default right now and I've decided to put it in the C drive in the WAMP folder um, there but not I haven't put it in the www folder so it's recommended to not have this password file which we're gonna create in the website but outside of the website so I just have it outside of the www folder okay so once again it's capital A capital U capital F auth user file space C colon backslash WAMP backslash dot HT pass WD that's not HT password it's pass WD then on the next line capital A auth name capital N and then in quotation marks the name that you want to appear in the window I've put in Dan's courses uh, space website in quotation marks you could put in your name or you know your login site or whatever next line is auth type authentication type capital a capital T 
and um, space and it says uh, basic okay so the authentic authentication type will be basic and then I've skipped a line and then down here I've written uh, require space user space Dan's courses so the username that you're gonna log in with will be Dan's courses so this will be our username okay and then you just save that file all right and you can see there it is dot ht access it's in my www directory and this is you know basically my website there's my index.html page there is the old um, WAMP server page the index.php page which I've changed and renamed to index.php underscore back for backup there's my Joomla download uh, my current Joomla install uh, 1.5.15 and then I've renamed it, I unzipped it and renamed it to my site and then in my site is this is my test site uh, that's my Joomla, in, this is everything Joomla that's all of the Joomla website in the folder called my site so and here's my access file so now we're gonna go look at that um, password file so if I go up one level I created a um, password file and I'm going to show it to you Hold on one second and I've put it in right now and there's no encryption here because I'm going to show you how to encrypt it too so I'm going to copy this this is without encryption just to show you the easy way of doing it not very secure though okay this is going to be just like the dot ht access this is dot ht pass wd okay p a s s w d and I'll open it up and you can see in here there's my username dance courses colon let me in so the username is dance courses and the password is let me in all right and that's all you need to set up uh, the um, to set up password protection on the directory that has that dot ht access file so now if I open up a browser and I type localhost hit enter it asks me for username and password so I'll type in Dan's courses and then I'll put password and I'll put the wrong password I'll put go right right and then I hit OK and I get nothing right so then I'll say Dan's courses and then I'll put in the password let me in and click OK and I'm in so it worked so all I needed was two files. I needed this .ht password file, which just has the username and password separated by a colon. .ht passwd. It's just a text file without the file extension. And then in the inside the www folder, which is the folder I wanted to protect, I've got a .ht access file, and this file has these settings right here and it works okay now this is not very secure because it's not encrypted um, the password is sent in clear text and so it's not gonna you know it wouldn't work for you know a, a real server in a data center but on your private network it's probably fine in the next video I'll show you how to do it with um, how to change it and upgrade to have uh, some encryption on your password